Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, Yank.
instance name and I'll give the software component as wc underscore version 2.0 and then finish so this is the product and software component we created now center side I am taking third party so I will take some existing third party technical system instead of creating again and again the new technical, technical systems and business systems I will take here TS underscore sender we will see what are the available systems TS underscore sender one I will take uh, TS underscore sender is my technical system. You know, if you want to create, you can create a new technical system also. How to create? Like, click on new technical system, you can create a new one. So, this third party, you are using dummy third party, you can create a new new technical system if you want for sender. Or you can use the existing one. I well, will show you how to create a new one otherwise. I will use a new one new technical system third party next so ts underscore i'll give sender to next filter on idop2 this is a product and software component and then finish save business system third party next Logical system name and then next the other business system name BS underscore sender to next so I created a new one here technical system business system for sender then receiver side let's see you don't have any moments any problem please let me know stop me and ask me we will discuss once again this is actually what we seen in the file to file scenario before that in SLD uh, we seen how to create a product and software component how to create a technical system in the system uh, I can use existing available te technical system in the system also but I don't have only one or two technical systems are there so that is the reason I am creating one third party technical system for sender here nothing is there you want you can use existing available uh, systems also then receiver side ECC the base back so that is PRD PRD on application server on SAP server uh, install software so this is the way to install the product and software component to existing technical system and business system so install software add new product add up to and then business system SAP PRD this one the business system for SAP install software IDOC2 check this checkbox you a checkbox like this when you check then this product and software component is installed in the business system SAP PRD So, this is the way we install.
install the product and software component in center side receiver side systems then go to integration go to enterprise service project yes sir any purpose in this any doubts in this Let's go right up to import create. The the processor remains the same to import the IDOC. Actually, in IDOC to file scenario or file to IDOC scenario. IDOC is required, so we need to import the IDOC. So, so same way, we'll be importing IDOC from SAP system. Okay. So language, English. And we need to give the connection data. System. System is uh, system name PRD. Name of the system. ECC. Details. Details. What we're giving is ECC details. PRD system name. System ID, system A, PRD that we are giving here, and then save. Click on this namespace. Change mode. file to add up to then save So this is the software component. This is the namespace what we created. Then import objects. I click on this. Import of SAP objects. You need to import the IDOC. No? So we will see importing the IDOC. Import of SAP objects. Then you the application server. I think we SAP server system number 51. PA user 1. And my password, my username and password. Then continue. Next one is IDOC. You find all the IDOCs.
Afternoon, afternoon. This is the data of what we are selecting. Click on continue. And then finish. In the side of we imported the same way. I want to send the data to these two fields of the side of. So Z E A T Y as you are in. I'm taking Z E A T Z E A T Y as a value. As you are in. Okay. The name. As you are in is actually re reason. I'm taking uh, a reason. Okay. So send something from file. Getting updated in this I doc. Uh, IDOC that to these two fields. Okay. Now when IDOC in receiver side, now IDOC in actually receiver side. The scenario is file to IDOC. No, the IDOC will be in receiver side. So we don't require data type, message type, message interface for receiver. We will be creating only for sender. So we create the data type message type message interface service interface for sender first we need to start with data type to click on create right click insert sub element so I'm sending actually for those two fields as a DATO and AGRN so for the DATO I'm taking value type Then service interface. So this is center side. So this interface, center side, outbound, asynchronous, outbound, asynchronous. And message type will be. And then save. Outbound asynchronous and message type is empty underscore address sent to. So this is data type, message type, and service interface we created for sender. So receiver side not required, receiver side is IDOC. Then <coughs> mapping objects, message mapping. Up to click on create. So 
source message and target message. The source message F4. So what is sender said? Chatan 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 why because the server side is idle. So the message type will be idle copy. Okay. Then when it comes to this mapping, uh, mapping. Uh, so, source to target fields. When I rock in when I rock was in center side, directly you map whatever you want. Okay. Now I rock in receiver side. We are sending data to I rock in the receiver side. See, in every transaction you find some mandatory fields. Uh, that means, if, suppose you want to create a customer without giving customer number, customer name, you cannot create the customer. So, customer number, customer name are mandatory fields of that customer transaction. Same way, in every IDOC, you find some mandatory fields. Instead of to pass at least something to those fields, then only the mapping will be completed. So these are all red in color are all mandatory fields. So in this IDOC, these are all the mandatory fields. Now you can see, begin EDA underscore DC40, even ABC1. So first, uh, this begin mapping is required. So required occurrence. And you need to definitely map something with the begin, otherwise it will throw an error. Now if you have anything there in the source directory that you can directly map to this begin, otherwise you need to same uh, take some constant and give some value to this begin so that it won't say anything. Okay. So what I do is I take this begin out, I don't have anything to map from the source directory, uh, source uh, file. So I'll take this begin out and uh, there are the functions available here, string functions and here you find see concat, uh, sorry, uh, constant, take this constants from these functions and get constant here like this, take this constant here, map this to begin and double click on this constant, give some value, say one something. And then OK. Constant 1. So begin is equal to 1. So I am giving value to begin is equal to 1. So it won't say, it won't say anything now. OK. So like this you give directly some value to this begin. Constant value. Then under this ED underscore DC 40. <coughs> sorry. Find so many fields. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So many fields are there, around some 10 fields are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fields are there. So I don't want anything from this ED underscore DC40. I don't take any, if any of these fields from ED underscore DC40. Then what I do is directly, I click on this ED underscore DC40, a disable field. When I say disable field, okay, then see, everything you disable. All these are. Means whatever fields are there, all these are disabled here by taking this. This is not the way you work in real time. Enable field, right click on the CD underscore DC40, disable field. So, not taking anything from the CD underscore DC40. All these are disabled. Okay, then a second. Then, and expand this even, even ABSC1. Here you find some other fields, see. This actually we require these two fields and this is the mandatory field again segment one field you find mandatory field take the segment out give the constant to this segment okay give some value then value to zitty 
ट्रीज ऑन टू ये जो आ रही है then operation mapping operation yellow and red and blue this and this red option 2 send this target the first one no matter the color the manu charge it source message target message and then close the mapping program between these two my turn objects and mapping objects then you need to go to change list expand this standard change this right click activate part we need to see so if you are comfortable with this two last two scenarios then you can see direct report otherwise we will see uh, tomorrow what you say i'm okay sir can you go yeah, continue with the direct report uh, today this is yeah. so directory degree directory now i'm showing the directory part environment clear the data cache first you need to create the scenario create the scenario i dot to select only this now we need to select the business system of sender business system of receiver we will see a business system for sender 
we created a new one that is bs underscore sender to so right click on business system new uh, assign business system continue continue uh, bs underscore sender to if it is there you can use otherwise we need to go to objects and select the business systems so it is newly created now so it will be there so bs underscore sender to the business system what i get to for sender and then for receiver we'll go to objects object view expand all the business systems now here you find sap prd sn configuration scenario This is sender business system and receiver business system. So we need to create a communication channel for sender and communication channel for receiver. Why? Because now sender side anyway communication channel is required. Receiver side also communication channel is required. Receiver side SAP. Now SAP system wants data in IDOC format. So previous case IDOC to file scenario, there is only one processor available to send the IDOC from SAP system by using W19 transaction code. But here, IDOC is in receiver side. SAP system can receive data in so many formats. Now SAP system wants data in IDOC format. So we need to take IDOC adapter in the receiver side. Okay, that means we require communication channel for receiver, agreement for receiver. So anyway, sender required. And receiver also required, everything is required here. Sender communication channel, receiver communication channel, sender agreement, receiver agreement, everything is required. Okay. So first, uh, we create the communication channel for sender, a business system. Uh, click new, communication channel, cc underscore, sender to, Underscore input dot that then processing mode delete and then save this is normal communication channel for sender or to send file to file scenario. So we need to create a communication channel for a receiver also. So receiver is SAP. Right click new communication channel. So I'll take IDOC adapter in the receiver side. CC underscore IDOC underscore IDOC 2. Adapter type IDOC receiver side. 
So we need to give here RFC destination. See transfer protocol IDOC, message protocol IDOC, adapter in their integration server. That means IDOC internal to the integration server. RFC destination nothing but logical system name of ECC. T9T, CLNT, 090. This is the logical system name I maintained for ECC. So that we need to give here. The logical system name of SAP R by 3. And port is, as I told you, SAP and system name. SAP PRD post, uh, port and SAP release 700. Okay. This is the version of SAP release version. So RFC destination, logical system name. Port to SAPRD. Already we seen this in IDOC profile scenario also to send the IDOC. We need to give port and uh, uh, part of profile. No? So the port is this part of profile, but last system name is this. Okay. And then save. Okay, we have these two communication channels then receive a determination who is the sender the sender is file that means ps underscore sender to ps underscore sender to interface ps underscore idoc send to it is confusing, you can select this with your software component. Then click on create. Configure receiver for this sender is SAP. Nothing but ECC, that is SAP PRT. Then enter the determination. So I'm clicking the sender system. Sender interface. Receiver CPPRD click on create and operation mapping name of the interface. So I'll be giving here selecting the name of the interface for receiver the file to add up. No? So receiver side add up that is what option one depends upon the software component. So this is option one, not option one. And then apply. Then operation mapping. This is OM underscore up to this is operation mapping. And then save. So we have two things here. Uh, we need to give name of the receiver interface and then operation mapping. So receiver side is ECC, uh, sorry, PRD, SAP. And this is the right one, absolute and absolute receiver side. The operation mapping is what to get in the repository OM on the spot. I don't know. The interface determination. Then center agreement. Sender to interface Sender communication channel See Sender to Yes Okay Sender Then the receiver agreement. Sender. Ah. 
receiver. Receiver interface. Epsilon depends upon the software component. Receiver communication channel. Channel for receiver. That's it. Then go to changes. Now change this right click activate. That's all. Directive part is completed. The remaining things are same. Go to SXA cache. And we need to check the communication channel of sender and receiver. So go to runtime workbench, adapt engine, communication channel monitoring. So I'll take here uh, sender communication cc underscore sender communication channel cc underscore. Uh, IDOX and 2. So it's working fine running. But you cannot see IDOC adapter here. Why? Because IDOC uh, in the back stack. You cannot see here. We need to send the data. To send the data, be sending data from file that is getting updated in IDOC in the receiver side. So we will go to message mapping first. The message mapping. Go to test. Give some value. Something. Then. Start the transformation. Click on the source text view. Copy. Save as in the source directory. Check out what the name you give in the sender communication channel. Adoc to underscore input dot dot. Adoc to underscore input dot dot in double quotes. Once you save, it is save. So within 60 seconds, this file is going to be deleted from the source. Once it's deleted, go to IDX5 in XI. So for SAP, actually, SAP in receiver side, for SAP it is inbound. For XI, it should be outbound. Once it's deleted, then check out outbound status in XI.
so delete it now go to idx5 in x5 f8 so for scp it is inbound for x5 it should be outbound this is outbound status we are getting you know double click on this you will get the status double click on this so you find process successfully who is the sender is the sender interface all these things so uh, <coughs> scenario related information now once the data is sent then with the data you find in a sap system ecc in the receiver side uh, prd in the receiver side So go to CPR by three, eight hundred grand. The same username and password. IDX. I want to see the data. W zero two. Go to W zero two. And F8, data record, control record, status record, this is IDOC. In the data record, you find segment, even A, B, C, one, C. Z, D, A, T, Y, A, G, R, L. You are getting the value for Z, D, A, T, Y, A, G, R, L here. Okay, forget about this uh, status of the IDOC. This is actually partner profile is not maintained for this uh, third party system. Center side is dummy system now. Okay, so that is not our uh, issue here. We are because we are not using proper system. Our scenario is working fine or not. I send something from uh, the sender. Get, that is getting update link. I do in the receiver side getting the value for Z E T Y H J R. Okay, this is too good, right? This is file to I do scenario. This is file to I do scenario. Up to flat file, we'll, we'll, we'll take a flat file instead of flat tomorrow. So, uh, these are all uh, asynchronous communications, right? Yes. So, are we going to see synchronous in future or? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. This uh, IDOC is supposed to be the best example for asynchronous communication. So, we use IDOC for asynchronous communication. The synchronous communication means web services uh, when you send request uh, getting back the response so http calls web calls are synchronous communication those are also we'll see later okay okay so go through this and tomorrow we'll see add up to flat file so tomorrow scenario similar to add up to file only in the file place you'll get flat file so what is that we'll see in the tomorrow session so please go through this with this your 50% of the course is completed Tomorrow onwards, we'll see every day uh, one scenario. We'll see. If you're not comfortable, let me know. We'll start one day, but we'll continue every day one scenario. Okay then.